the very first card that you got is to go now. Go now. And what this is referring to is that it looks like some changes are coming and there's, it's the energy is incredibly forward moving, forward moving. So going now is a way of saying that it's time. May is going to be a great time to go, like move forward with your, with what you would like to do. The second card that you get is from Merlin, the energy healing. This card has a couple of meanings. One is that this is you. <laughs> you guys might recognize that. This is you. So in one way, it's about go now be a healer. Be the healer that you are, the energy healer that you are. It also means that energy healing kind of goes both ways where his hands are up and he's not only sort of giving healing but he's getting healing at the same time giving and receiving healing at the same time go now giving and receiving this healing for May go now do this some of you might be balancing your home life with career and I'm um, hearing the word purpose. So it's as if it, home, home is where the heart is. Balancing your career with your purpose. Um, balancing home life and career. In other words, doing what you really, really love. Doing what makes your heart happy. <laughs> And energy healing, energy, you know, that could be an actual profession. This could be coming, this is coming up right next to this one. So for some of you, it could be that energy healing as a profession is something that you might want to consider if you haven't already. This might be something you're doing or you've been thinking about doing. We go now. If you've been thinking about this, I get a big yes for this for some of you. So consider that energy healing. If that's not what your purpose is, uh, just know that, you know, Merlin is just a walking healer. He could be doing anything else with his days and he heals, um, and he heals everywhere he goes. So you, for you guys, it's the same. It's the same way. So this could mean as much, um, giving energy, giving your loving energy that is healing out as you, everywhere you go, and at the same time, allowing the energy to heal you as well. The next card that comes up is a change in direction. I love this card. <laughs> a change in direction. This could have to do with your purpose, could have to do with just career. It could have to do have to do with finding a new home. Uh, and here's what it says: so We have a, a child angel with a stork bringing a baby. It's like the baby has been birthed. There's an, a change in direction. The changes that you might be experiencing are divinely guided by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance both. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Following your path, right? They were talking about purpose with this career and being in line with home, being where the heart is. This being about giving and receiving. There's a change coming, and for some of you, it could be things that you've contemplated and now you're going to go for it. <laughs> it's a great time to go for it. It's going to be hard to fight the energies because now is such a great May is just a fundamental time of movement, moving forward for every sign. It's about sudden changes and movement. It's about lifelong changes and movement um, very much in May. So this one is about a change in direction. Change 
looks like something that you, some of you might have a hard time with. So the next card that you get is that whatever change occurs will be a positive change. This is going to be lined up, more lined up, I should say, more lined up with your purpose and who you are and your life's purpose and what you're designed for. It's a positive change, whatever might be happening. Sometimes changes are, you know, aren't super comfortable at first or in the process, um, but they want you to know it's a positive change. So maybe allow yourself to just kind of settle into, okay, change isn't always 100% comfortable, but it can be exciting when you look forward to sort of the, the outcome, the end result, what is it that you're wanting, or getting excited about not necessarily knowing what the outcome might be, but knowing that it's going to be more in line with your heart space, and your career will be more in line with your heart space. You're also getting Ariel stepping in, talking about giving and receiving. When you give, you receive. Giving and receiving coming up. Two cards talking about giving and receiving. It's really important to receive as much as you give, to give as much as you receive, and to keep that balanced. Balancing that. There's more balance in two cards. This one also says, uh, talks about being resistant to change. So you have three cards talking about change. Change is coming. It's positive and Try not to resist it because it's positive and it's coming. <laughs> so we go this way, then we go this way with these three cards. Change is coming. It's going to be positive. Don't resist it. You know, sometimes when things are so divinely guided, it's just, there's not, you're, you're not going to stop it anyway. So, you know, when they say suffering comes when you try to resist what, uh, you know, resist what you resist persists. Um, uh, it's like some things you just can't, you're not going to be able to stop it. <laughs> and you're not going to want to. It's a positive change, very much lined up for you. This is good. This is a good thing. This is also about extremes and how, and uh, about money. This card directly speaks to money and again wants to speak to giving and receiving. Giving and receiving regarding money. And then you guys look, giving and receiving. <laughs> so some of you might not be allowing yourself to receive. Maybe that's going on for some of you. Giving and receiving is really important for that to be in balance. Giving and receiving with money, with energy, with love. Uh, let's see what this one says. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to inhales and exhales. When you only exhale, give, or you only inhale, which is receiving, you get out of balance, out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, replenishment, balance each inhale of your life with exhale. You know? Does that make sense? You can't just inhale. It doesn't work. <laughs> just with the nature of the universe is giving and receiving. So for those of you that might be having a hard time receiving, change is coming. So it could be that a whole bunch of really great stuff is going to come in for you and they want you to be ready to allow yourself to receive it. At the same time, if you're ready and wanting to receive and it's just not happening, then give. Because when you give, you receive. They go together. Transformation is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Transformation is beautiful. Notice about this card that it's a butterfly already. It's a butterfly. It's not a caterpillar. It is a butterfly. So. It's like for some of you, you are really coming to terms with all of this, with this giving and receiving, um, knowing your worth. You've got to know what you're worth to allow yourself to receive. So this one might be at the root for some of you. At the root of allowing yourself to receive could be this idea of self-worth. 
So skunk is coming in. No, this one wants to stay up. Okay. <laughs> Transforming this. I made a transformation around this concept that you are worthy and knowing that you are worthy will help to allow yourself to receive at the same time just like giving and receiving goes both ways um receiving may inspire you to know your worth you know if you go ahead and let yourself receive enough that you begin to go okay yes i am worthy of this right <laughs> So it could be that a whole bunch of good stuff is coming for you and it's going to give you an opportunity to really know what you're worth. At the same time, for others of you, do a little work, maybe do a little work to have a transformation around this idea that you are worthy so that you're much easier to, it's much easier for you to receive to where you can just like, yes, I am worthy of this. Thank you. You know, there's just, more, there becomes just a gratitude with it. Thank you. <clears throat> it's time for you to take the lead. It's time for you to take the lead with this giving and receiving. Go now. With this change that's coming, it looks like you're going to want to become a leader, sort of, of your own life. Become a leader, like take the reins, you know. Become a leader of your life. Take the lead. These are things you can control. You are in charge of yourself, your beliefs, your value. <clears throat> if you're not receiving what you want, then give. Giving will inspire the receiving at the same time. It's like hugs. Okay, so they're showing me a hug. <laughs> when you give a hug, you're getting a hug at the same time. As he's giving energy, he's receiving energy at the same time. They happen together. So take the lead. Put your hands up. Okay, he wants to come back. Take the lead. Put your hands up there and give some of that healing and you will get some at the same time. It's a great time for you guys. You can do anything right now. This is coming from Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. This card is also referring to attracting people um, to help you. Helpful people. The ability to attract helpful people. And then Gabriel comes in again to say, if you're wanting some helpful people, ask. All you have to do is ask and they will show up for you. It's time to collaborate. <laughs> So you have three cards talking about you can do anything. If you need some people to help you with some kind of project, maybe an energy healing business, uh, maybe some other kind of um, change towards some kind of career that you're wanting that's changing. If you need some people to help you with it, there might be some things regarding, uh, If for those of you that resonate with a change in career, there may be some aspects of it that you feel like you don't know how to do you know we all have our gifts so for example uh, if you want to be an entrepreneur and start a healing business it might be that you're an incredible healer don't know the first thing about business well then you would ask ask for some people to help you with the business side and since you can do anything right now and this change right now is happening these people are just going to show up people because it's time to collaborate so get the people who people will be coming so simply ask it's time to take the lead and collaborate at the same time take the lead because you can do anything <laughs> and collaborate because you might need some people to help you do it does that make sense? Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can hold this up right like this. It's looking like this. <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's time to take the lead and collaborate with people who can help you in this leadership role of what you're trying to create because you can create anything. If you're not sure 
what it is exactly that you want to do, they're inviting you to spend some time daydreaming. Daydreaming, that space that you're in when you're daydreaming, is the seat of creativity, is what it says. Seat of creativity, where she's just relaxed, comfortable in all ways, physically comfortable. Uh, it's like the temperature is perfect, her mind is free. She's just daydreaming, dreaming about the possibilities. Anything is possible. You will more easily hear and receive messages from spirit if you daydream on a regular basis. Relax and open your mind to receiving. There's receiving again. Allow yourself to receive by getting in a daydreaming place. Dreaming about what you would just love doing. Imagine what you imagine if this is your new career path. What does it look like that when you wake up in the morning, you can't wait to go to work? It is just so exciting. You just can't wait to go to work. What would that be? Dream about it. Daydreaming. Spend some time daydreaming and, and see what, no, what visions show up for you. Visions and ideas show up for you. And when they do, it's time to act on them. So your final card is the Empress. That when you get some great ideas, it's time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. The, the seat of creativity is daydreaming. And when you get these ideas, then take action on them. Go. Go now. Now's the time. May is the time. So when you get some great ideas, take action on them. Luxurious and abundant resources will be yours. Remember, you can do anything. So dream it into reality dream it into reality, and then take action steps towards making it happen. If you need some help with people, other people, just ask and they'll show up. So dream big. Dream big, Aquarius. This is a big time. This is a big time. You're ready for it. Go now. Go now. Dream big. And anything you need, you can have. You can have anything you need right now. You can create anything. Look at this. You can create anything you need. And the resources, including people, will be there for you. People and money. Right? People and money. This is a very positive change. These are very good changes for you if they're changes. Forward movement. We're at the beginning of a new seven-year cycle. This is the time to create the foundations of what you would like for the next seven years of your life. Let it be great. Let these changes, you know, get excited. They're positive. They're good changes. Get excited. And know that anything you need, resources, abundance, is there for you. Okay? And then take, take the action steps. Go now. That's your first card. This is the foundation of your card. <laughs> it's to go now. Do this. Take the action steps.